Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me it's true. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, and I'm back with another quick and transit lesson. Lord willing, is edifying, straight to the point. And as you've seen the title of this video, um, somewhere along the lines, what happens when you pray, or something special happens when you pray, or this is what happens when you pray. And what am I referring to? Praying to you, how about Shemi Pray, Prayers are important. You know, prayers are important in the scriptures that I want to read. It's only, it's only two scriptures, but when you really think about these scriptures and and um, paint the picture and, you know, animate it, it gives you a better understanding on why prayers are important. You know, we supposed to be, pray scriptures say, one, pray without cease. You know, pray without cease. We're supposed to constantly pray without stopping. You know, every moment we're supposed to be begging you, how about Shemiah Shah, which is prayers. When you want something, when you pray, you're begging. You're literally begging the Lord for something. You know, you're asking, you're begging. You're praying to the Lord to deliver you from something, give you something, bless you with something. And the things we're supposed to be praying and asking for the Lord to give us are spiritual things. You know, deliverance. You know, pray for anything you may be lacking in. Spiritually, pray for it. Even if it's something you're lacking in physically, the Lord knows you need it, He'll provide it. You know? Prayers are important. You know, the Lord knows what you need and require before you even ask for it. That's number one. But um a couple of the scriptures I have is the book of Revelation chapter five. Um in verse in verse eight. Hold on one second. Book of Revelation chapter 5 verse 8 It says And this is talking about Yahweh Shah When you read the whole chapter From um, verse 1 all the, way, all the way through It's talking about Yahweh Shah who was, who was and who is The one that was worthy To loose the seven seals Which is this The, the understanding of this book Being revealed and loosed For us in these last days if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah, we won't we wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be on my way to camp right now. Brothers won't be teaching the word. Brothers wouldn't have known they were Israelites. This great awakening that's taking place wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah dying on that cross. All right, and being worthy to lose the seven seals. So that's one of my favorite chapters, man. Revelation, the fifth chapter. You know, it's very. You know, it's a it's a very uh it's deep and it's it's very you know touching so to speak. You know, an emotional chapter because. You know, Shehawba Shimi Awa Shah. You know, here go the brothers over there. Shalom, Shalom. Yahba Shimi Awa Shah, brag a thumb. Yeah, the brothers out there in Jersey. <laughs> Shalom to y'all brothers, man. Um, But, um, yeah. You know, a very beautiful chapter. Beautiful chapter. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 8. It says, And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and excuse me, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. The lamb is Yahweh Shah. Alright? The lamb is Yahweh Shah. Having every one of them, having every one of them um harps and golden vows full of odors. Now, what's these what's these vows, these golden vows that were full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints? Alright, which are the prayers of the saints? So the prayers of the saints, which the saints are the Israelites, and the Israelites are the elect, right? The hopeful elect, because the elect, are, the hopeful elect, are gonna be the only ones that are praying to Yahweh by Shemi Shai, you know, in these in these days, in these last days. So the um the golden vows, all right, with the um the harps, the full of the full of odors, are the prayers of the saints. So the angels present the prayers of the saints before. The Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, and it goes even further into that when you read the book of Tobit, chapter 12, which I'm gonna get that. And um, I'll probably park up because I'm I'm at camp now. 
or about to be at camp, pulling up to the uh, campsite. So Tobit chapter 12 and verse 15, it says, I am Raphael or Rapa Ya'ala, all right, which means healer of the most high or healer of God, all right, one of the archangels. It says, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. So you see that? Raphael, Ra, 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 Raphael or Rapaya Allah is one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints. All right. We just read that in Revelation, the fifth chapter. All right. So Raphael is one of the, one of the top angels, one of the seven um, archangels. Matter of fact, let me park now. I just realized I was so close. Got a perfect parking at that. Give me one moment. So yeah, you got all, uh, I'm gonna read it again. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the holy one. So like, like I said, we just read that in Revelation, the fifth chapter, you know, Raphael is one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers, the prayers. So what happens when you pray or something special happens when you pray? The angels literally, because the word angel means messenger. The messengers of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, are sending a message. You know, so if you're not praying, then Lord, and the Lord literally is not hearing from you, man. He's not hearing from you. You know, we don't want to go, we don't want to be the ones going MIA. We don't want to be MIA, missing in action. The Lord don't even know who you are because you're not you're not communicating, you're not speaking with him, you know, speaking with Yahweh Shah. And I'm just painting a picture on on so, so you can understand the importance of prayer. You know, if the angels ain't presenting that prayer to, to the Heavenly Father, then you're, you're an absentee. You know, like when you, you know, you go, went to school back in the day and the teacher will call the attendance, the name, go through the attendance list and you have to say present, present sir or present ma'am. I don't even know if they still do that today, but you say present. And then when your name get pulled up, there's no present. There's no, you're always an absentee. So you, the teacher don't know you, you don't know the teacher, you don't know the class, you don't know what's going on. And when the time for that test, because schools was all about, the reason why you would go, go, you know, take the classes and the courses was so that at the end of the class or, or every semester, you take a test so that you know if you're going to move on to the next grade or not. So we got to be present. We can't be absentees so that, you know, we can move on to the next phase of this thing, man. And it is going to happen with prayer. We got to pray, you know. We got we to gotta constantly pray to move on and move forward to the next phase of what's about to go down. It, got, it comes with prayers, you know? And ultimately, and ultimately, you know, when things really hit the fan, prayers, man, prayers in the time that we're going to need it the most, you know? We're going to need it. we definitely going to need it, man. So, you know, the angels, you know, the scriptures say on um, Psalms 34 and 7 that the angel encampeth around about them that fear him. And delivered them, you know. But you got to be communicating with the angels. You stop speaking. When I say communicate with the angels, I'm talking about prayer because they're the ones that present the prayer to the heavenly Father, so to speak, as the scriptures say, you know. But if you ain't communicating, you know, with your high boss, Shemiah the higher powers, then you know you're left for yourself. You know, you're left for the, them demons to attack you, attack your mind, get at you. You know, you know, prayers build you up, man. Prayers build you up. Many scriptures could have came out on that, but um. You know, I was thinking about that I was as I was driving. I was actually uh, listening to this one song from this Benjamite cat named da uh, Dawei Congo, and his um the the song is called it's called Ja is my shepherd, but we know the name ain't Ja. You know, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. But you listen to lyrics like that, and you replace the name with the Ja and all that with the the true names. It's more easy. To, you know, it makes a lot more sense and it's easier to tolerate. You know, scriptures talk about Benjamin ravenous as a wolf. You know, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But it's a dope song, good song. You know, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is my shepherd. 
and he was going into um say your prayers and, and just many other things you know how benjamin do but you know i was thinking about the scriptures too yesterday you know um tobit the 12th chapter and 15 verse and revelation 5 you know so hey something special happens every time you pray man you know don't neglect prayers so I, you know i'm at camp lord willing you know till next time again camp videos are always going to be an odyssey as a matter of fact i just got I, I just got strike yesterday for a video on one of the camp pages from 2020 uh 21 last year august you know <laughs> i mean that page is inactive at the moment but you saw still going through old videos and striking them which is why i'm on odyssey with the youtube um the camp pages so i'm gonna link um the camp page in the description box or the odyssey page where i'm uploading that in the description box so if you want to follow the camp videos then just go to odyssey because that's where they're going to be at so anyway i'm gonna end it here i pray and hope to you how about shimmy out shot by shimmer kai kudash that this was an edifying lesson exhorting to the elect you know till next time man you know always pray shalom